Australia is a world leader in dry land grazing, and I can't see why there's any reason that Australia couldn't also be a world leader in dry land grazing technology. There is no reason we can't be a world leader in ag tech, um, but we're not at the top of the podium at the moment. Data on its own is, is only useful if we can start to look at how we might effectively link it um, to the benefit of industry. Who owns data? How do we share it? How do we leverage it and get more value out of it? Really requires governments and agencies to open the cupboard and say here's all the knowledge we have. It's, it's all well and good to talk about all the technologies that are available but you have to understand what intrinsically are the problems you're trying to solve and start at the farm first. So you make a decision um, uh, to send an animal to the feedlot or not. Uh, um, you make a decision to send the animal this week to processing or not. They're the decision points is actually where the data systems don't intersect today, so we need a solution to that. Whether it's through your paddock sensors, whether it's through new technology with cattle, whether it's through your new water and other infrastructure technology, knowing the value of your operation at every moment and accessing that. So MLA's role is to connect what we have and then build on that and allow the industry and stakeholders and entrepreneurs and anyone else that can build apps to give a value proposition back to industry. The variability in producing that protein is one thing, but then is it special? Is it something that will match niche markets and, and grab hold of a premium that consumers are looking for? In the future, what will happen is you'll decide how you want to eat. You'll put that into all of your devices, probably controlled by your smartphone, controlling your connected kitchen, your connected home, your fridge, your smartphone, your smart toilet. And this is near future. This is not a million miles away. This is right now. The customer is still the king and everything we do has got to add value to the customer and make it seamless for people along the value chain to interact. There are lots and lots of technologies coming out in the marketplace at the moment. Um, lots and lots of demand coming from, from China and so forth. And the world is moving at a fast pace. You don't try and select the right problem to solve. You start solving two problems at a time, work on them, deliver on them, select the next two. And that's how you build momentum. The first thing we should do as an industry, as the Red Meat Industry in Australia, is embrace new technology. We've, we've got to be at the forefront of this because everybody else will be. Because otherwise new proteins, new technology will take over our position uh, on dinner plates around the country. In the digital world, expect surprises. There will be a surprise, there will be another surprise. So your strategy has to move forward. You have to do things, but you have to be expect to be surprised and respond to that because that's how the digital technology just in general uh, works. But if we really want to move ahead, and make a difference and keep ahead of the rest of the world, now is the time to be active.